This is beyond the wildest dream. He's gonna get the cut. We're gonna transform the Lamborghini Huracan into an absolute drift weapon. My heart has never raced that fast in my life. Building cars for me, it's just an addiction. To be able to build a car and give it its own personality, the way it sounds, the way it looks, the way it sits, it's how I express myself. Just always wanting to build something different. This year I've been given the opportunity to realise a dream and build a Lamborghini Huracan. It's really about applying our skills and what we do to our drift cars and giving this Lamborghini the Mad Mike personality. Mazdas and Rotaries have literally fueled my career. And having that love and passion for this engine, it's just something that separated myself from the rest. With the Rotaries, we have literally drifted some of the world's most dangerous, crazy roads. A rotor engine is different because the internals actually rotate. For a traditional piston engine, the pistons go up and down. The performance is a lot different, which means they need to be driven in a much different technique. Going to Goodwood Festival of Speed for the first time, definitely a highlight of my career. They invited us up there to showcase drifting, bring it to the event, the most historic, prestigious motorsport event on the planet. So the driver of the day, Mad Mike with it. To be named driver of the event, there was nothing better. For this year's Goodwood, I've been given the opportunity to build literally a dream car. And as much as a core of my fan base are Mazda Rotary purists, this is one I cannot wait to reveal. All right, man, here she is. This is gonna be a pretty wild project. Man, you can't really start with much of a bit of canvas. Oh, God, man, when they say do a dream build, you gotta think pretty wild, eh? This is yours, mate. This is all oh you. Oh, my gosh. She's gonna get the cut. So it's a 5.2 litre natural aspirated V10, uh, 580 horsepower, about 520 newton meters of torque. But the exciting thing is it's only 3.4 seconds from standstill to 100. As you requested, we've found the perfect platform for you with rear wheel drive to start with. Insane, who would have even thought that the most pure sounding supercar, the naturally aspirated V10, and it comes in rear wheel drive. We have a magnetic based suspension system, which is fully adaptable based on your drive mode and dependent on the way you want the car to behave. The rear wheel drive, we've got a steel brake system, it just helps make the car a little bit lighter, a little bit less unsprung mass. Can't even believe the position we're in right now. I'm sure you want to keep a few things close to your chest, but what are you going to do with a rear wheel drive supercar? We're going to drop a grinder through it, wide body it, slam it. It's a supercar, I'm going to take it straight to Hampton Downs and put it through its paces. And from there, then we're going to discover what we want to do with it. There's one key thing you need to move forward and oh she is officially God, I can't even believe all I'm, yours. I'm holding this, thank you so much. Get on in there. Oh my. Wow. The interior is absolutely insane. It actually feels like a fighter yeah. jet. It's almost a sin to actually pull it all out. I don't know, man. I'm going to try and leave as much as this in here because this is just so natural. This is like a game, but real. <laughs> Damn. Wow. This is really beyond the wildest dream. It's crazy to think this entire project started from a conversation over a dinner table. So I was at the Goodwood Festival of Speed Drivers Ball, which is this like fancy dinner put on by the festival's founder, the Duke of Richmond. I was sitting next to his son, Charlie, who is Lord March. And Charlie said to me, what are you gonna do next? I said to him, I want to build the world's craziest drift supercar. And so he was like, Hold on a minute. Before you knew it, he had turned around, he had tapped the CEO of Lamborghini, Stefano, brought him into the conversation, and here we are, not even a year later, and we've got a brand new Huracan that's come out of Italy, about to take it to the Mad Lab, put it through its paces first, see what it's gonna need, and then transform this thing for Goodwood Festival of Speed. I've got a lot on the line. I've promised to a lot of people that are expecting to see this car completed, finished, unveiled at Goodwood Festival of Speed. 
the Duke of Richmond, Lord March, Stefano, the list goes on. I need to push this thing hard. We need to figure out what we need to do. This is where we'll find out just how much work we've got cut out. But we only have four weeks before this thing needs to be pushed into a container to head to UK. Somebody needs to tell him he's only got one set of tyres. <laughs> yeah! Go good. Damn, it's insane. Mean power. Yeah. I mean, steering lock, of course. We need a lot more of it. I yeah, mean, handbrake here, just to have some control. I think we've got our, uh, some work cut out for us, bro. Good like, base, though. But yeah, oh, dude, the power. Got skids, rear wheel drive. You reckon we put it on the track? Oh, no, let's go, bro. Get some yeah. pace on. Yeah. All right, enjoy. All right, first time on the track. Yeah, like sport mode. Woo, it's fast. Oh, man, it's so responsive. It's got the switch on the steering wheel, so I went from quarter to sport mode. A few switches I gotta hit to get it, like, actually to wanna go sideways. It's insane. A good shakedown. Wow. Yeah. Man, it's tricky because it's so responsive. Pretty snappy. And because well, I'm used to like 900 degree of wheel rotation. Yeah. And I think like lock to lock is probably like 500 or 540 maybe. Yeah, okay. And each time I let go and then go to grab the wheel again, I'm like sometimes oh. hitting the switch button, but then it auto shifts on yeah, rev limiter. Okay. Oh. So there'll be a lot of assist that we'll need to try and delete out of it. Right mm -hmm. now, I'm actually going back to when I first started drifting, yeah, when I didn't have a handbrake, yeah. and I would just downshift. Yeah. Man, that V10 sounds so good. <laughs> Hang on, can, did you guys get say that again? <laughs> yeah, the freaking V10 <laughs> sounds good, bro. Fuck. <laughs> He's definitely got an energy in him now, just a whole nother level. I think there's a part of it that probably still doesn't feel real to him. It takes so much momentum and speed to upset this car to throw it into a slide. I can get it to drift, but obviously the chassis is set up to grip. This car requires so much speed and some super aggressive driving to get it to go sideways. The way he's driving that now... ...doesn't really have all the gear he's used to, you know, and you can see the things he's doing with the car. It's incredible. The driveway at Goodwood is so tight and technical. Having no handbrake, no foot clutch, we have got some serious amount of work to be able to get it so I'm comfortable to be able to drift this at Goodwood. That's a typical Mike. Always find your limit, go back from there. Damn, bro, well, it's everything that I expected, and some. But, frick, we got some work to do, bro. It's a little scary, but like we have the ultimate platform, man. Like this thing is wild with a lot of power, a lot of technology. And we want to try and delete some of that technology as such so we can drive it as a driver. And we're going to drop a grinder through it, wide body it, slam it, do, do what we do in the Mad Lab. Yeah.